Welcome back to Factorio. We've got Power Armor Mark II. But it's not very powerful because this is all we have in it. We need much, much better stuff. And we can get that by making stuff like energy shields and big batteries and stuff like that. What we really need is everything else that we can put inside it. There's power on Mark II. That'll be continuation thing there. What else do we want? I'm gonna go back to regular power armor here. Portable fusion reactor. That'd probably be pretty good. And that would be very helpful for powering things. I kind of want other stuff here too. Modular armor. That's gonna give us more options here too. Personal roboport, discharge defense, exoskeleton equipment. That's what we want. That'll make us be able to move fast. Start that research. That's what we want. That's going to take many processing units and electric engine units and some steel. We can do that. That's not even really a problem. The question is, how many do we want slash how many can we afford to use? Let's start making some other things maybe. Personal laser defense. That could be nice. I think the real thing we need to do is get the power to. So I stand over here, we can get a lot of these things. Mostly we're gonna be trying to get some stuff together here. I think some laser defenses would be nice. So then we just need to pick up a couple batteries. Luckily those are right here. Ready for us to go. Let's make two laser defenses. Why not? We're gonna need more processing units. Make sure those are getting made over here. Everything is going nicely, so it should all be working out. This much of the copper is getting in here to make low density structures. This much is getting made into electronic circuits. Then go into the advanced circuits to go into the processing units, which are getting some places. I'm also going to need just tons and tons of these, though. So, keeping a lot of them going into this box is actually fine. I feel like currently the limiting factor is the low density structures. Seeing as how these ones are just sitting here. I guess that does mean these ones just sitting here are kind of. Up for the taking. I'll take them. We're not making a huge amount of processing units and low density structures here. It's definitely slow going. If we grab five of them here, we can skip this step. I need one more. Well, make one of these. This just needs to make laser turrets. Definitely have giant boxes full of laser turrets too, so. That's not the limiting factor here. How's the copper doing? Pretty good. Pretty good, all things considered. It's almost kind of getting backed up. Until each of these things here grabs another 20 copper points. Which is a significant amount. I need some more electric engine units. I'm getting regular engine units, electric engine units. They're just going over here to the robot frames. That's fine too. I think next we might want to do the portable fusion reactor. 
Exoskeleton legs completed. Got some modular armor here. Portable fusion reactor. Costs 200 processing units and 50 low density structures. My goodness. It's a bit expensive, but definitely worth it. 50 low density structures, though. Oh boy. Kind of want more of these guys going. Just making more. It's already flowing about, about as fast as it can go here, though. It's all coming in. At maximum half a belt speed here. Pretty much, that's pretty much as much as it's going to be getting. I need 50 low density structures. That would really kind of slow down the creation of more of these. How do we do it on that? Lions get in. That's doing pretty good. Not quite backed up yet. Let's get in there. And once that happens, we'd have a bunch of extra other things backing up here. If we want to get 50 of these right now. In preparation. Where's these stack? These stack like 10 maybe? I think it's something like that. Let's grab the 50 of these we're gonna need. It's gonna temporarily halt production of the utility science packs. That's okay. Let's make some exoskeleton legs. Movement bonus, 30%. Yeah, make two of those. Yeah, these do stack to 10. That's perfect. We also need... 200 processing units for that. We got that. Definitely gonna need more processing units, though. Because we make more things for this. And... More electric... Engine units here, too. Grab some more of these. That will get more off of that line. The electronic engine units to flying robot frames production is doing just fine comparatively. It's definitely these other two that could be more. I mean, to be fair, it's a lot larger portion of this science base here. All of this over here is making the flying robot frames, and only this part here is making the processing units, and only this part's making the low density structures. You can definitely see where it is. Not quite up to the task here. Here is exoskeleton. Place that in here. So, consumes equivalent grid energy. Grand capacity 60 million joules, capacity 50, solar panels 300. Max consumption 200 kilowatts. And the solar panels are a total of 300 kilowatts. Running around is currently draining our power. That's definitely a problem. And especially at night, we're not getting any... anything. Ready for shots, 50 kilojoules, max consumption, 75 megawatts. These are lasers. It's fun. There's a tiny little secular belt immunity there. Wild. I think these are just taking charge, even just having them here. That's not ideal. One more exoskeletons. That'd be nice. Kind of out of steel. Running around faster is pretty convenient. 
grabs more steel here. Yeah. Quick speed. Four? Four legs? Five legs? I like it. I like it a lot. It is a drain on resources now. Each of these gives us even more movement bonus. It's pretty nice. So with five of these in here now, running around is quickly depleting. Oh, running around is, oh, it's so great. <laughs> we desperately need more power creation in order to actually just might be able to have this on here. There is like, we could get better batteries. It's probably a smart plan. I mean, batteries and steel. And personal batteries. We've got three personal batteries in here. Let's get some batteries. Steel. <laughs> Five, six, seven. Maybe enough to make one. Uh, these also need low density structures. The structures! We need them. Let's get a few more in here. I should make like four batteries. That's pretty good. What size are these? Let's say. Dimension 1 by 2 Also dimension 1 by 2 Perfect. So it's just a significantly better battery. That's good. We're just making the personal batteries manually here. Grab the three batteries out of here once these are done to make one personal battery mark two. That'd be good. If it takes ten personal batteries and all this additional stuff, presumably it'd be pretty solid. Probably still want some batteries, even with a portable fusion reactor here. In order to have it available. There is a personal battery mark two. Put that in here. It's got a nice battery supply. Okay. Two more of those. And we need more steel. And I'll use up all the low density structures. And one more. Alright. That'll solve that problem. Oh, running running out of run. Running out of power just drops back down. These ten solar panels are just completely insufficient. Energy shields must be nice. Belt immunity, night vision. Lots of good stuff you can get in here. We're doing on processing units. Fine ish. Got the personal laser defenses, which should also be nice. As much as we do have a nice big grid here, we can still fill it up very quickly. With like five exoskeletons and such things. This has the fusion reactor here. Four by four. Just slot that down here in the corner. That's pretty nice. I can definitely work with that. That was production and everything going. Fine. That's enough for the fusion reactor still. Line's almost backed up. It's going. Still only have the three whopping three labs here. Gets the job done. That's alright. Copper only has 24,000 more ore here. Stone has 27,000. Coal has 60,000. How are the further out? There's a base that we need to deal with. What's the further out mine's doing? 
672,000 stone, 556,000 copper, 906,000 copper, 2.5 million coal, 3.3 million coal, 5 million iron. Oh, decent. The main limiting factor on like the copper here is really getting to be the number of miners on each of them. Anywhere else the guys have expanded? This will be only over here. It's going to be the first target of our improved power armor stuff. That's what I do. Can maybe make some of the piercing shotgun shells. Does much more damage, plus more. Presumably also has piercing. Takes. Copper, steel, and shotgun shells. Let's take the shotgun shells here. We're still making the batteries. Can we set up something to make piercing shotgun shells? That'd probably be a better plan. Oh. Iron, copper, Copper and steel. That's easy enough. I just love the fast speed. Anywhere we already have all that going. Here's this section. Iron, copper, and steel. We can put it over with the other military stuff. Probably a better spot for it. Here's iron, copper, steel. <laughs> we get something going. Eh, it's a bit of a mess. Always has been. Give us some filter inserters or something. We're gonna just put it further. Or just split some off. It's fine either way. Got some space over here. It's not like we need tons of it or anything. It's just get some iron happening. Right here. <laughs> And steel. Do something with that. You're gonna be copper this way. Underground for the iron here. Copper. We need to get steel over here. Thinking, yeah, filter inserter could work. Stack filter inserter. Make a stack filter inserter. Put all the batteries in here. Um, stack filter inserter. You want to whitelist. Steel. This way. Underground, please. Thank you. And over here, like this. So what do we need for the first shotgun shells here, technically? Iron copper. you and you I guess you're the one that needs steel and stuff here piercing copper and steel you need power too yeah 
that. And then you can have that. Who's copper and steel? I like that. I'll just go underground here. Then over here. And voila! Piercing shock shells. Alright. Horrible fusion reactor. There you go. What else do we want on this? Discharge defense. Personal roboports. Roboports will be great. Let's get the discharge defense. Sorry for that. And let us make a portable fusion reactor here. We need the low density structures. So we get those. We're so quick. We can toggle if we want the exoskeleton to work here. That's also nice. Let's grab these here. Okay, that for now. Okay. Total raw material crafting, 17 minutes. But once we get everything together, this takes 10 seconds to make a portable fusion reactor. Reasonable. Reasonable. <laughs> portable fusion reactor. Maximum output, 750 kilowatts. These are doing a thousand kilowatts. No. You go with two fusion reactors. Is that excessive? Potentially. We got space for it though. And if we're just running around, we don't need anything extra like that. Give me another fifty of those. Gonna make a second fusion reactor. Depending on what we're doing, it's reasonable. <laughs> and depending on what we're not doing, it's not reasonable, but there's there's things. Do any more night visions or belt immunities really? There are also like improvements for the solar. There's for that's sulfur. Solar. There's the portable solar panels. Part of the roboports. There's not really a better portable solar panel. Alright. That's okay. Guess we don't really need solar panels then. We're gonna need some more processing units though. Let's so grab some of them. There's 100, 200. That's enough for that. Grab a few more of these. And having two portable fusion reactors is nearly perfect. Anything else we want? Maybe, maybe more batteries? Do we really want belt immunity? It's kind of taking up a weird amount of space. We can have just some of the solar panels in here still. We'd also go for six legs. It's also an option. We do have space here. Sixth leg, maybe another battery. Not the night vision. If we get rid of the night vision, we can put other things in here, though. Eh. Slightly more visible. It's fine either way. a loadout with more combat stuff too. That would definitely be beneficial to have. Just a few more here. What kind of combat stuff we got? We got the personal laser defenses, which is solid. Solid choice. A few more of those maybe. I do think more batteries is probably a good bet. I just need some more steel here. Let's make the second generator here. Fusion power generator. We get a few more low density structures in this chest, just in case we want more stuff. 
We're taking some of these. It's also doing fine. All of these. Make another portable fusion reactor. That should be able to at least charge all these legs at the same time. I do like the belt and unity. Just see if there's any other one by one things we could have. Take these out. These out. Make another legs and another battery. Do we need to be going this fast? Perhaps not. Let's need some processing units and processing units and steel. Right. Woo! Are over here. One more. No. One more of those. One more of those. That's making the density structures. Get that out of here. Okay. One more battery. So now we're up to six legs, which is a little hilarious. Completely unnecessary. We have this regular energy shield. At least upgrade that to a good energy shield. As long as those are both still the same size. Yep, they are. Let's take out the low level energy shield. Make the high level one. Let's make in reds. When you do that. Scoop. It's getting a little bit difficult to purposefully stand in specific locations. But just traversing across places is just fantastic. So we're going to have laser defenses and discharge defenses. So I think just more laser defenses, realistically. Sounds like a good time. So we kind of have to decide between speed and laser defenses. We also might just want more batteries if we're gonna be doing the lasers. But I feel like that's gonna use just maximum consumption 75 kilowatts. That's not terrible. That's way less than the exoskeletons at least. Yeah, we we'll just replace a leg with personal laser defenses. That pretty much get the job done. I think maybe having another energy shield also wouldn't be a bad plan. Like a reasonable idea. And <laughs> one solar panel here. Like it. <laughs> we got two giant portable fusion reactors. And then one teeny tiny solar panel. Hilarious. Okay, that's discharge defense done. Is there anything else here? We got the robo ports. Construction robots. Robo ports. That is a good time. Plus 168 hours. Yeah, Robo ports. That, that's a whole. That's a whole nother situation here. Let's get the. What's what? Mine productivity. Distractor bots. Automation three. A bunch of speed modules. Follower robot counts. Construction robotics. Effect transmission for those. Logistics three. For even better belts and stuff. Speed modules. Artillery. Mm -hmm. Lots of things in here that would be reasonable to get. Breaking force. Flamethrowers, landmines, rockets, stronger explosions, concrete. What, what direction do we want to go next here? I think just getting some more research speed. Be a reasonable thing to do. While we try to make some more ideas here. Discharge defense remote. Discharge defense. Damages pushes back and stuns nearby enemies when activated using the remote. 
Seems like a little more work. Let's go for some lasers. Need steel. A few energy shields and lasers. I'll need more redundancy structures here. And more processing units. It's gonna be one defense. You get like two defense and then five lasers. Could be a reasonable plan. That's what we need is a bunch of steel. Uh, there we go. Now we have a bunch of steel. <laughs> One more shield. That needs more advance. That. Is that enough? Yep. <laughs> and then. Pile of lasers. That needs more. I mean, we don't need to make the laser turrets. Gun turrets. Let's get the laser turrets from the laser tur turrets pile. I'll speed up that process at least a little bit. And there's no lasers. It's three. We need a few more processing units. Four. And there's still just need a few more processing units. That should be defensive enough. Three energy shields, five personal laser defenses, then also us running around with a piercing shotgun. And that should mostly get the job done. Should be good. And these are backing up again here. That's okay. Mostly because it's not getting any, or not getting enough of the low density structures. But this current research is also not using this science at all, so it's going to continue to get backed up nicely here. Two more here. Anything that uses the liquids, we can't just handcraft. That's okay. There we go. Another laser defense. Okay. Let's go see how the. That's doing good. Let's see how the piercing shotgun shell box is doing. Grab some of those. Look how fast we go. I love it. Got 61 so far. Definitely not the fastest. Making the regular shotgun shells good speed here. I think the limiting is the piercing. That's okay. Take those for now. Okay. Put the first shield in here. The extra shield and the seven personal lasers. That'd be a bit much. I guess we don't need to run super fast. Maybe two shields and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven lasers. Maybe be able to take out the second fusion. Grid, very capacity, solar panel power, 30. Right, we're good. These max consumption 200. Lasers. Consumption 75, so that's even less. Take out five legs here. Let's take one of these. Oh. So as soon as we have. Be able to do things, just destroy everything. Alright. 
just keep doing your thing. With this setup, you got good speed, defense, lasers, and that's 750. So that low could power. One of these alone could power 10. Max consumption 360 kilowatts. I will charge it back up significantly. I still want the two fusion reactors. Let's go and test this out at least a little bit over on this one swarm. Oh, there's two swarms here. Well, these guys are going to get deleted here. I want like some cluster grenades or something. Let's just go test out what we have here. Is it even worth having the tank? We could also just. Swap these in. We run over there faster. How's this doing our power? 100% power, 100% power. It looks pretty good. We have the 60 shells here. I'm gonna make some more. There you go. Let's see if we can get down here. We also just kind of run in with our super speediness. Let's just break the trees with a shotgun. Also a good option. There's a cliff here. Gotta go around. Okay. We got a lot of worms here. That's something. Let's place on all of our Stuff here. It's a tiny bit of a puzzle fitting everything in perfectly. That's seven lasers and a piercing shotgun. Oh. We are a little bit slower now. That's okay. Let's see how this goes. damage now. Get back healed up again. Try over here. This is a situation we could improve. Weapon shooting speed. Shotgun shooting speed. Yeah. That would help. That would help quite a bit. Well, this looks like a lot of guys. I don't know how well we would do with this setup here. Kill them pretty effectively. Get charged back up here. Just keep running away. Then the lasers do a good job. In the middle here. Speed is also in our advantage. Our charge is doing fine. Potentially get away with less power. That would mean more everything else. Let's take out the vision here and see how that how, how that moves. Oh my goodness. This died immediately. Yeah, I think. We needed the extra for the shield regenerating. That was important. Hmm. 
Noted. Two power. Necessary. So now we need to go and... I need to go down and... See them again. Yeah. The second one... You know, it does say on the... Shield here. Max consumption, 360 kilowatts. So, two of those basically uses up the entire other fusion reactor here. So, noted. We still do like a little bit of speed here too. Lasers pretty nice too. That works. And the piercingness of the piercing shotguns, also pretty solid choice. We could get some capsules or that kind of thing. It's doing a good number on these big guys here. Great to see. Them. Oh boy. Ah oh man, we still died. Yeah, we still need to worry about the guys attacking. Still need to worry about that. Ouch. So, definitely not foolproof here at all. What else would we potentially change? If we're not really using the batteries, we could probably technically put two more things there. Take out these, get another third one too. Three more lasers, maybe an energy shield. The energy shield, a third energy shield would be a little bit expensive though. So that definitely does take a lot of power to charge the shields there. We can't just ignore the enemies attacking. That's not going to work out for us. Is it two legs speed? Still good. Still pretty good. Yeah, definitely don't think it's worth running around with the tank. We could definitely get follower robots for fighting too. Would also help. Right. And you. There you go. This need to get better with this setup here. Takes a little bit of practice and all that. Alright, get up all these guys. If they can't get to us to attack us, doesn't use too much energy. I get slowed down by these guys. Ideally. Okay, retreat. Okay. Let the shields recharge, which definitely is not using the batteries. We could definitely put more stuff in here too. Letting them attack is still doing tons of damage here. Maybe we should probably heal here. If they, once they bite through the shields, it's not a good time. Not a good time. No 
another base up here. Yeah, these need to be removed. Let's get back to full health, though. That's definitely worth it. Any capsules? Defender capsule recipe. I can definitely do better than a regular defender capsule at this point, though. We even have defender capsules on the bar here. But let's make. Let's get them in the mix here. Why not? Alright, defend me! However, slightly you can accomplish that. Nope. <laughs> Terrible. Cluster grenades probably a good time. <laughs> Let's get back out there again. Definitely feels slightly more dangerous. Maybe a third shield would be good. But then I do kind of worry about ability to have it while we work in here. We definitely get rid of the batteries. Possibly all the time. If we have enough from the two fusion reactors, the batteries might not really be doing anything for us. We get stuck in the spit. It's just a terrible time. Acid immunity. Some. Seventy percent, potentially. There we go. Just needs a bit of practice, and potentially better things like if we increase the shooting speed, that'd obviously be a pretty good time. these guys deal with all these guys Splash really does still do a pretty big number on us. Definitely not trivial. These are big worms. Maybe part of the problem. Oh boy. Yeah, big worms are no joke either. Dangerous. Dangerous stuff. But healed back to full here. Yeah, 360. That'd basically be another half of this. Compared to all of the lasers, that's 150, 300, 450, 525. Exoskeletons are doing 200 each. So this all alone here is pretty much two of these. You know, if we do more, we might get into a battery situation. We still want some batteries, probably. There. Try to spawn again. Get up all these. Okay. 
biggest guys are the biggest problem. That's for sure. Dealt with them now. Speaking of dealing with them, there's all these guys. the energy as I guess third energy shield is this kilowatts do I still want the exoskeletons to move more mm. there's options Popping up here. A few times they've done that. I don't know how we would fare against that size of a place, though. That's still a bit concerning. But we'll run with it. <laughs> Literally running with it. We'll just run. Let's get back to base here. Nothing seems to be really using the battery power. I'm gonna put some more stuff in here. Potentially. Can't really fit any other exoskeletons in this setup. Hmm. Let me research some other military stuff. We got pretty good power armor here. I think the biggest upgrades is gonna be from like getting the better followers and faster shooting and more damage. That's just gonna be very helpful. But I think we need to start working on some other ideas here. If we want to continue doing bigger and bigger researches here, we're going to need more and more everything. Currently our everything is just doing okay. It might be about time to start scaling things up. Well, that's also going to require more resources. We can see a few good spots around the world here. We might want to expand a bit more. Maybe put up some defenses around the core base area. That could be a project for next time. We're so fast. Goodbye. <laughs>